Hi everybody, it's Amber. Thank you so much for joining me on my channel today. I have a very fun and festive project planned for you guys and I'm going to be doing a full tutorial so you can mass produce these for your craft fair or for gifts or for favors, stocking stuffers, really anything. So as I mentioned in my update and if you missed that I will post it below for you so you can go over and check it out. I left it in the community tab and on my Instagram. I'm going to be doing, um, continuing on with my craft fair series, but it's going to be a little bit different since we're not doing a craft fair this year. Um, and it's been crazy with everything going on. Um, I do still have to go to work every day. I have an essential job, so I have to report to the office every single day and it's very busy as I mentioned. Um, but anyways, with all that being said, we aren't going to be doing the virtual craft fair, but we are still going to be doing an Etsy release. So you can get your hands on some of these handmade goodies that I'm making. Um, so it's going to just be done a little bit different and hopefully next year it'll all be back to normal and we'll be doing lots and lots of mass produced items for craft fairs, but I didn't want you to miss out on the ideas that I have this year. So with that being said, let's get on with this video. This is the first in my little quick craft fair idea videos because I don't want you to miss out, like I said, on these ideas that I have and I want you to be able to make them for your craft fair or gifts or whatever. So let's go ahead and get started. So every year I try to do a different variation on a tea favor for my craft fairs and they're such a popular seller and this year I think this is my favorite. I know I say that every year but I think that this is my favorite that I've ever made and I'm going to go ahead and show you how I did it and show you all the materials. It's super easy. Okay so first what you're going to need is two packets of tea and I got these holiday teas. There's peppermint and then the holiday cheer. I got them on Amazon. I'll link it below. And I use these cute little honey sticks and there's honey in these little packets. So I believe that you can get these on Amazon as well. I think I picked mine up at Tuesday morning, but I think I can link those below for you as well from Amazon. So those are fun. And I wanted so badly to use this little mini candy cane. And actually I probably could have, um, but you'll see in the end of the video, I don't end up using it, but you can totally try to incorporate it in yours because I think it's so cute for Christmas. And okay, so then all you need is to decorate this. You need a doily. And I use these Martha Stewart kind of like rose gold doilies I picked up at Michael's. I'll try to link those below for you as well. Or I'll try to find something similar. I'm using just one simple embellishment. And I got this pack here of these plaid flowers from Hobby Lobby. And you're going to need this bag here. And I got this from clearbags.com. Don't worry about... Um, the measurements or anything like that I'm gonna link the exact bag below for you so you can go over and check it out and then you just need two pieces of scrapbook paper that measure four and a half by four and a half if you have double-sided paper just use that you only need one but since I'm using this cute Christmas cabin paper pad um, this was only single-sided so I wanted to use two so that way both sides are decorated so the first thing you do is just simply adhere these together. Just back them up on each other. You don't need that much adhesive. Just make sure that you get this all even and so that way it kind of looks like a double-sided piece of paper. So I'm working with scrapbook paper and I get this question a lot. It is decorative cardstock. Not, it's not flimsy copy paper. This is actually uh, pattern cardstock. So then what you do, it's super simple. You are just going to kind of adhere these down and as we know ATG tape is sticky but you can peel it off and um, people can still enjoy the honey and the tea so I'm just gonna take this and put a little bit just a little light strip on the top and just stick that honey stick down and this is just kind of a way to display it so it doesn't move around and then I like to do a little square of the ATG tape here for the teas so I just make a little square and then I just stick the teas down kind of staggered as I want them. So there goes the peppermint tea, kind of at a little bit of an angle. And then the holiday berry. So as you can see, they're just kind of slightly adhered on there so they don't move around. And then you're gonna grab your clear bag. And the way you're gonna package this is so when we decorate the top of it, it doesn't have to be ripped off. So as you can see where my hand is, that's the top of the bag. 
and the longer part is the front. So where the flap is longer, you're gonna stick in your little favor so the top of it meets the bottom of the bag. So that way when they go to take this out, they can just unseal the bottom, which is essentially the top of the bag, and just pull it out. Um, see, just like this. So you're gonna scoot that all the way to the edge of where that seal is and leave some slack at the top because the slack is what we're gonna decorate. So just go ahead and peel off your little seal and glue it down or press it down. And that way they can just undo that part and pull out the little favor. And we're gonna decorate this slack up here with some cute stuff. So I know I showed you the doily in the beginning, but actually we're gonna end up needing some more paper. So first you can just take your doily and fold it in half. And I'm gonna cut another piece of scrapbook paper um, that measures four and five eighths by four and a half. So that's almost four and a half by four and a half, but it's a little bit bigger on one side. So you're gonna fold that at four and five eighths by four and a half, and it's gonna be four and five eighths across and four and a half tall. So then you're just gonna fold this in half and if you have an edge punch, you can use that. I like to use decorative scissors. I've got some scallop scissors that I just like to um, cut across the edge there just to make it a little bit more decorative. And you can just do this um, with any of your decorative scissors. I have a whole set that I can link below for you from Amazon. They are such a great deal for all the decorative scissors and it's so much cheaper than having a whole bunch of edge punches. So there we go, I just made like a cute little scalloped edge. And you're just gonna take this and meet the bottom of the little paper that you just folded to the top of the tea favor. So it doesn't cover up any of the tea favor. You can see the honey, you can see the tea, and everything is still there. So then you're just gonna take a stapler, I'm gonna use my tiny attacher, and just put as many staples in as you want. So I, just use three and then just put your doily over top and it's just such a decorative little touch and I just do one staple in the middle there and then I just cover that with an embellishment I think this is so cute and so simple and it would be so much fun to assembly do an assembly line and mass produce these so I'm just using some Tombow glue here it's the aqua liquid glue and I'm using it to adhere my little flower right there in the center to cover the staple. I think adding that extra piece of scrapbook paper really, really made it look good. Um, so I'm trying to, <laughs> as you can see here, figure out how to use the candy cane, but really I should have just shoved it in the bag and maybe glued it down somewhere, but I ended up not using it at all. I think it looks fine without it. So then I'm just gonna add a little bit of glue and glue this down. I think this turned out so cute and um, this aqua glue worked perfect. It was kind of like um, in place of hot glue. You can use hot glue if you want, but I just use a little bit of the aqua glue and cover the staple and it just makes it have a little decorative touch. And just imagine like handing these out to your coworkers or your neighbors or friends or having a bunch of these made for your craft fair. I think that they are so adorable and they are such a nice presentation. So there's our cute little tea favor. I think it turned out so beautiful. I think that the scrapbook paper and the doily just make this, make it look so decorative. Um, I'll link all the items below that I can find for you. And if I was selling this at my craft fair, I would sell it for $3. I hope that you enjoyed my variation of my tea favors this year. And I hope that you are inspired to make some of these for gifts or for your craft fair. Thank you again so much for watching. I hope that you all have a great week and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.